Organizers of the Niagara Falls Music and Art Festival offer details on this summer's third annual event. A lot of fun, a lot of bottles of wine, a lot of arguing, a lot of good conversation. But it brought us to this, which is what we always wanted, and that is to make the festival a citywide event, something that Niagara Falls can be proud of that people can say, Where, what are you doing the last weekend in June? I'm going to Niagara Falls. They've got a great art festival, great music festival. It's a weekend of fun. That they come here, they it's, it's heads and beds. Um, the festival starts on Friday, June 28th. Um, that starts on 3rd Street in the 3rd Street Entertainment District. 3rd Street will be closed from uh, Niagara Street to Ferry. All the bars and restaurants will be having live entertainment out on the street. There will be a bar crawl that will go from each and every bar. So this way it encourages people to check out the businesses, see what it's like, come make an impression on 3rd Street, and for the business owners to make an impression on the people that are coming there, and the tourists that are in town, because it is Canada Day, and it is the week before our 4th of July. So we will be full, hotels will be full, there will be people in the city. So we're doing a, a bar crawl, and it will finish with a concert at the Ice House uh, for us younger generation. Um, you'll know the name of the group, Everyday People. It's a, a group that used to play at the uh, Duffy dances years ago. Um, the guys play on Old Fall Street and around with the bars all over the area. Um, so they're going to be playing, and there's a 40-year class reunion, Niagara Falls High School is a class reunion that, that weekend. And so we're encouraging the people that are in town to come hook up with their friends, come have a good time, reminisce, dance like you did back in high school or drink underneath the bleachers, who cares, but come and have a good time on Friday night, check out the street, and then Saturday and Sunday we'll both start at 11 o'clock on Old Fall Street. Um, Old Fall Street will start with an indie stage located at the entrance to the park. We will have three stages. Um, the Indy stage starts at right at the entrance of the park. Uh, those are for our up-and-coming artists, kids that don't get an opportunity to showcase their music, that are working for free. So please, again, support, come out, listen to them. There's some great musicians. Um, these kids are really talented. We have people coming in from Rochester, from. Uh, from everywhere, so really it's, it's some great music. Um, then you work your way up the, up the street, we will have uh, our new uh, food trucks. We've got food trucks, our vendors, um, the best foods uh, from all over, Pizza Mori with brick oven pizza, Violas is coming, um, you know, the usual suspects. Yeah, it's to the main stage, which will be right on the same street as Saber as a new culinary school restaurant. I mean, how great is it this year? Have the main stage at one end with top groups playing all day long from 11 o'clock in the morning to 11 o'clock at night, and you sitting outside, dining at a five-star restaurant, drinking bottles of wine, relaxing, having a great time. Welcome to the new Niagara Falls. Okay? So artist gallery with a third stage. We'll have all our artists along this side um, in front of the conference center working its way up. We'll have a, a third stage which is all acoustics. It will have duos and singles and maybe a couple trios playing so this way people can take their time, enjoy, look at the art, talk to the artist. It is a juried show so there will be prizes and awards out. There are three categories, an amateur, professional, and student. If I were putting together an elixir for the city of Niagara Falls, here are four things that I know I want to be wrestling, right? Music, art, creative, energetic people, and lively public spaces. Those four things, I think, are the very essence of what cities are all about. Like Rick mentioned, we have, uh, over the past few months, we've been holding a series of Battle of the Bands. Um, the reason for that is to get the freshest, newest, and 
biggest variety of music uh, for our festival. And it's been going great. Um, we have been holding them down at the Ice House, and uh, it's turned into a, a really fun night out. We already had booked for our festival. Um, on Saturday, on the Joseph Pony main stage will be the Marcangelo Paraselli Band, the Lower Town Trio, the Peter Novelli Band, the reigning two-year champions of the Hard Rock Cafe Battle Series, the Whiskey Reaper, and Dive House Union. On Sunday, we will have Randall and the Late Night Scandals, Next Level, Lost Elysium, High Horse, and in wrapping it up will be Coda. Uh, you can keep updated on what bands we add to it as the battles continue on either Facebook or on our website at www.festivalatthefalls.com. Thank you for supporting us.